Hey, what's up everybody? This is Numbers from Education for Artists and today we're going to talk about how to create a fan base, how to create a fan base and get your music to a massive amount of people. All right, so let's just jump in as we always do. What a lot of people don't understand, right, is that this is really the first step. This is really the first step when it comes to your music business. You know, you can be a master in the craft, you can have the best lyrics, the hardest parts, but if you don't know how to get the music in front of the right people, and to the right amount of people, you you just a hobby musician, right? You, you won't you won't be able to make a living off it. So, this is the first part you have to master in your career. So the first thing you need to understand is for this process to work is something that I learned from to Tony Robbins, and he said if you want to achieve success, all you need to do is find somebody or uh, find a way to model those who have already succeeded. It makes sense, right? So the same thing happened when I when when I started my own business. In the beginning, I just ran with it and tried everything I, I could, like trial and error, miss and hit, as most people do, also like most musicians do. Um, finding out the rules the hard way is how I call it. Finding the right, the right way to run can be very, very exhausting. And the truth is, most failures happen because one just gets tired or runs out of time, right? So what I do today is I'm looking for uh, what successful people do. Like, what do they already do? And believe me, you will find a lot of successful people making tons of money with their music. So as soon as I find the right people, I'm like, wow, these guys are so smart, I'm going to model what they do, right? And, um, and with that process, basically, you can save years and years of trial and error and become successful in the shortest period of time. In the music industry, you don't just want to go out there and invent the rap game off the top of your head. You got to go out there and find somebody who already is successful and who got a similar message as you have and therefore attract the same, the same or similar audience you want to attract with your music and then model what they did to become successful. And it's funny, every time I talk about this, somebody comes up and tell me like, like if I do this as a presentation, somebody tell me after the presentation and, or DM me or whatever and say, hey numbers, I figured out the better way to do it. And they say, hey numbers, I figured out the better way to do it. Excuse me. And hey numbers, I figured out the better way to do it. No one had ever seen it before, but it's going to be way better. And I want to show you how it works, right? And to those people, I always tell them the exact same thing. I say, look, you can always tell who the pioneers are because they have arrows in their back and laying face down in the dirt. Okay, and this is true, like you guys, as cool as it is to have an original idea, you don't want to be the one who start with it. You don't want to be a pioneer because this thing said, pioneers got the arrows in their back and laying face down in the dirt. Meaning if you want to invent the wheel yourself, you, you are the one who has to do all the mistakes yourself. And believe me, it's hard enough. It is hard enough, even if it's already paved. So the first time I really understood this concept was at a workshop with Jordan Belfort. Yeah, the Jordan Belfort from the, the movie Wolf of Wall Street, the, the real Wolf of Wall Street. So most of you probably know the name and the movie. Just as a quick reminder, right? Jordan made over $50 million a year during his time as a stock trader. Isn't that crazy? Is somebody watching this video who also want to do $50 million a year? I bet so, right? But long story short, Jordan Belfort started his own company and turned normal guys into millionaires within six months. He actually talked about these guys' IQ, like these guys have an IQ as Forrest Gump on three hits of acid. So not that smart, right? During the workshop, um, during, during the workshop in London, Jordan said that he always had some experts that wanted to build their own sales script to sell the customer stocks on the phone, and they all felt miserable. Jordan had a clear script. He learned from the best who learned who, who already had the arrows in their back from thousands and thousands of improvements. So with Jordan's scripts, the biggest idiot could sell stocks to often way more educated investors, right? Just because they modeled every word, every tonality, every breakthrough in the sentence, they simply modeled the proven system and won. So Jordan said, if you want to be successful in phone sales, you don't have to create anything. Just copy me. And I remember sitting there and having this aha moment. Like, whoa, he right. Why should I go and try to be the system that has proven to work fantastically? Right? Why should I just why shouldn't I just check what they are doing and then model it? Okay, so that's what I started doing. By the way, Jordan actually uh, had an interview 
on um, on the Breakfast Club where he mentioned that the music business works just like any other business. Because in this channel, I got another video about um, the music industry and why most why most people um, fail in the music industry. So you might as well check this video. I'm going to link it somewhere after this video so you can just click on it and watch this one. Um, so back to the story, back to the modeling, right? So this goes for you and your rap career as well. So let's go back to the initial statement. How to create massive fan base. If this is what we're looking for, you need to find an artist who represents the most, who represents the most what and where you want to be. Start reading between the lines. There are so many interviews out there where you can learn how rappers created their buzz, for example, you know, buying musician uh, DJ strings or making other deals. DJ Small got a, had a good interview with um, Day Day. It's an older interview. I don't know if you remember Day Day, uh, where he talked about going to every open mic in the city and all six. I will link it in the description. So you can actually watch this video. It's a 40 minute documentary or so, but it got not like really gold nuggets in between because what he did is he just managed to be everywhere. Like he went to the, if you went to the club, they passed out his CDs. If you threw them on the ground, they later picked the CDs back up and passed them out the next day. So he really wanted everybody to know his music. And that's one of the ways how he created his fan base. Model as much as possible. Like there are hundreds of interviews out there. Find out what they did and adapt it into your strategy. Try to model as close as possible. And then what you need to do, take action. That's the most important thing. So as a recap, you collect all the knowledge you can get, right? Then you plan out a strategy and how to model the steps as close as possible and then execute them. And this really what matters the most, taking action. Remember, um, if you know Grant Cardone, uh, one of the best sales trainers in the world, he said, you better walk the wrong way 100% than the right way only 90%. And guess why? Because if you walk away only 90%, you never get to the end. Meaning you never know if it's, if it's right or wrong. So you better put all your energy, even if it's the wrong way, but then you hit the wall and you understand, well, that's the wrong way to go. But at least you know, if you go 90% all your life, you never, you never get the end result. So you never really knew what could happen. So just go 100% on whatever you do, execute your plan. And this is also why you need to start immediately. Like, you know, don't push it to the side. Don't, don't procrastinate just do it in the short like immediately the tipping point for your fan base focus on the first i would even say you know, there's the concept of a thousand fans but i'm talking about 100 fans if you got 100 raving fans this should be like this from from this point on you're going to explode in business this this is the critical kpi like the key performance indicator so what you need to do is get 100 real fans like this should be your number one goal in building a solid fan base. This is all you need to really get on the map. And let me break down what I mean by raving fans, right? So don't get me like, I'm talking about real, real fans. These are the guys who will check your social media daily. These guys that bump your music in their car. The same, like, they also want their friends to bump your, your music in their car. The guys that want DJs to play your music in the club. These guys are straight up brand ambassadors. If you have a show, they the ones who will pay to see you. They would travel across the whole nation to see your show. They will support your movement like it's their own. This is another level of fan. Get you 100 of these and your fan base will grow exponentially. Jesus only had 12 of them and it worked out pretty good, right? <laughs> All right. So this actually is also how Airbnb started. They were struggling for years and years and bootstrapped everything being like one step away from total financial collapse. They stated they took care of every single customer in such a way that they become raving fans of the Airbnb system. And that's the way that that was their winning strategy. Today, Airbnb has a revenue of almost $3 billion a year. And now, well, maybe not exactly now because of the COVID, but you know what I'm saying, right? And now don't think that this will be easy. Like, you know, you got to invest money. You got to invest time. You got to invest blood, sweat and tears to do that. And basically, you know, it's not only about the money. It's really about the effort that you're going to put in, because what you do with money is you buy time. Right. But if you got the time or if you're willing to put in the work, then you can do this 
at a very low, like, you know, with low investment, not too much investment. And you see a lot of people like, you know, especially in hip hop, they come from nothing. They they didn't have the money, but they, they made it. They made it work. Right. Um, And like, and that's just what it is, because I see already some complaints like, you know, how like I can't afford this. I can't do the blah, blah, blah. Guess what? A couple of hundred, like it just won't make the cut. And I know you have you just have to put in the work to make it happen. Don't think about what you cannot do. Or why somebody else has an advantage of you. Think about what your advantages are. Like, what can you do? Think about what you can do with what you got right now. Because there's there's probably way more that you can do that you don't even realize that you can do. There's always a way. You just need to change your thinking and start being creative. The funny thing is when, like, I had the most, in the beginning when I started my company and when I had the most money, I screwed up everything. When I was broke, I came with, I came up with ideas and solutions that save my business and got me going. So if you're thinking right now that there's no way of getting the buzz without spending a lot of money, remember what I told you before, find somebody who did what you want to do and then model it. Can you imagine that there's at least one musician in your category, like in your niche, without money or just a little bit of money who created the fan base you need right now with low to no budget? Think about it. Think about it again. Yeah. Exactly. There are a lot of rappers out there who started with less and did their own thing. So go and check them out and model the strategy. Maybe you don't have the right team to put it off, right? And I know this can be very frustrating. Well, if you don't have the right team, you need to find a way to leverage your time and your money or your money. Think about what you can gain of it, out of it. If this is really your dream, you cannot let you be stopped because you don't have enough people in your team. And even if you can't run in that pace that you want, just start taking action. Just do it. <laughs> and if you and if you are still thinking you can't start the promo soon as you are more comfortable money wise or time wise or any other reason why there's a better time to begin. Let me tell you this. There's no better time than now. Napoleon Hill. The number one success trainer back in the days, he was ordered by Andrew Carnegie, the billionaire, to go and interview the most successful people over 20 years. That's all he did for 20 years, interviewing the most successful people in the world. And look what he said. Do not wait. The time will never be just right. Do not wait. The time will never be just right. Start where you stand and work with whatever tools you may have at your command. And better tools will be found as you go along. Studies even showed that there's a 72 hour rule. If we don't start working on our new plan, and I'm not talking about finishing, right? I'm just talking about starting, start working on our new goal within 72 hours, the completion rate of achieving that goal goes under 1%. And that's crazy, right? And you certainly won't, don't want that for your music career. All right, so now I've shown you how to create a fan base. And guess what? The modern process can be used for every step in the ladder to success. You just need to be honest with yourself and understand on which level you are right now and then find out where you can model a certain strategy. Ain't that, ain't that cool? Okay, so that's it for today. If you like this video, if, if this video was of value to you, please subscribe, hit the like button, um, and share it with your friends, share it with somebody who gets some value out of it. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.